This video illustrates how to solve problems using eBox platform. To access the portal, go to pro.e-box.co.in slash login. Fill the login credentials given by the eBox team. Then the enrolled Python class will be displayed below course. Click the course. These are the topics that we will cover in this course. There are five sessions in each topic. They are I learn, I explore, I analysis, I practice, and I assess. I learn consists of learning videos. I explore and I analysis consist of quizzes. In the quizzes, you will be given with a multiple choice question. So you can select the answer and give review answer. The correct answer will be highlighted in green color. If the answer is wrong, it will be indicated with red color cross. You can select the correct one and you can give review answer. That will be converted into green tick. So this I explore and I analysis is used for learning purpose. So you can mark the correct one and give next. The same way you have to take an attempt for I analysis as well. Your next topic is I practice and I assess. I practice consists of problems. So here you will be given with a set of questions. The concept of the question will be given here. In the input format, it will be given how many inputs you have to get and the format of your input. For example, the first input is a string which indicates that the first input belongs to a string data type. The second input is a string. The third input is an integer. The fourth input is a character and fifth input is a double value. So in the input format, you will be given with all the data types and how many inputs you have to read from the user. The next is output format. In the output format, you will be given with how to display the output. For example, all the double values need to be displayed correct to one decimal place. Here, we have to display the decimal values up to one place. Next, all the text in bold corresponds to input and rest corresponds to output. In our sample input and output, all the text in bold corresponds to the input read from the user. And the remaining content is considered as an output. So this is the way we have to print the output. Here I have written the program for the given event detail question. After writing the program, first we have to save the program. The next step is to execute the program. So this execution is to check whether my program is running perfectly or not. So we can give the input and test the program execution. Here, the expected output and the obtained output was same. So the next step is to validate. In the validation, we are given with input, expected, obtained, difference and the status. So here my status is fail, which means the expected output and the obtained was not satisfied. So the difference between expected and obtained was given in the difference column. So it is showing that we have to give capital E for the expense and we have to give colon after the expense. So modify the code and submit it. Once the code was modified, save and validate again. So here the status of the program was changed as pass and there is no difference which means the expected output is same as the uptime. After that, we have to submit the program. Here, it is saying that 87.5 test cases are getting passed, which means the remaining test cases are not passed because I didn't satisfy the property given in the question. So in the question, they have said, all the decimal values need to be displayed correct to one decimal place. So we have to modify the code accordingly to satisfy the output. Once the program was modified, again save the program and validate it. The status is passed, so submit the program.
Now the code got accepted for 100%. The same way we have to take an attempt for ISS. ISS is a assessment part. So you will be given with a question and you will be given with a timer. Once we are familiar with the topic, we can take an I assessment. I hope you have understand to use the e-box portal. Thank you.